Okay, well today what we're going to talk about is chapter 4, 7, Sequences and Functions. Our objectives for today is to extend patterns and sequences and to represent arithmetic sequences using function notation. Okay, there's no actual standard for this. Okay, so problem number one, we're going to extend sequences. So we'll de describe a pattern in each sequence. This is pretty much self-explanatory. What we're going to do is we're going to look at the pattern. Um, so as we look at this one, we say, all right, well, we start a lot of times arithmetic-wise, we're just going to start addition, maybe subtraction. So I see plus three, plus three, plus three. So basically now what we're going to say is 14 plus 3. We get the next term to be 17. And then the next one to be 20. So describe the pattern. We're adding 3 to the previous term. And then we would just say the next two terms, 17 and 20. So pretty much self-explanatory there. You're just going to figure that pattern out. Okay, when we look at this one, same process. You might say, well, we're adding here if you add two and a half, but then here, that doesn't get you there. So we start to see some similarities here in the later parts that it looks like what's happening is I'm not adding, I'm actually multiplying by two. If I multiply by two, and then I multiply by two. So we could say, multiply previous term by 2. So you're just looking for that that pattern that's going on. And then we want to find the next two terms. So 20 times 2, we're going to get 40. And then 40 times 2, we're going to get 80. So that would be the last two terms there. So pretty much walking through that problem is just figuring out what the pattern is, find the next terms. Okay, got it, number one. I want you to go ahead and do this one in your notes. Okay, problem number two, uh, tell whether the sequence is arithmetic. If it is, what is the common difference? Okay, so the definition of arithmetic is going to be basically, does it increase by the same amount or decrease by the same amount? Okay, so increasing or decreasing by the same amount. So we look here and we say, all right, 3 to 8, that's a plus 5. Okay, 8 to 13 is a plus 5. And then 13 to 18 is a plus 5. So because that is going up by the same amount each time from the previous term, this is what we would say is arithmetic. Okay, so we can say, yes, it is. And then what's the common difference? Well, difference doesn't always mean subtraction. In this case, we're referencing what is the um, addition here. So really, the common difference is 5. Okay, so we look at this one. 6 to 9 is going to be increase of 3. Pretty simple. 9 to 13, however, is an increase of not 3 but that would be increase of 4. And then 13 to 17 is an increase of 4 as well. But since this is plus 3, that messes it up. This is not arithmetic. So really we're done at that point. There's no common difference, so therefore it's not arithmetic. So just being able to identify. Okay, so as we talked about the vocab is arithmetic sequence is the difference between two consecutive terms. Um, that's what we're looking for. So we, every term we look at, we're the same. So increase by 4, increase by 4, increase by 4, that would have been okay. But we had increase by 3 and then increase by 4, which messes that up. Okay, so got it. Number 2, I want you to now take your, your knowledge of what arithmetic is and figure out A, B, C, and D there. Okay, so let's look at the key concept here, the rules for arithmetic sequences. The rule says that the nth term of an arithmetic sequence with the first term a of 1, so we talked about that in function notation, that a of 1 just means 
when we have the first term, okay, when we plug in 1 for this n, which is referencing the first term. And the difference, d, is a given by this formula. Okay, so this is the formula we're kind of looking at. And what that's saying is we can write the first term here, okay, and then the next part is this is the nth minus one term. So as we look at that, and it's on page 276 in your books, if you want to look at kind of what they write, um, but the n is the term number. The n minus one is the term prior, so it's a common feature that happens. Okay, so if we were to talk about the n, that's the nth term. Okay, that's what they're referencing over here. And then d is the common difference. Okay, and we'll get into examples here. <coughs> Excuse me. About how that works. Okay, so writing a problem, we're going to look at that formula. And we're going to look at it again. We always kind of want to write this down. A of n is equal to A of 1, and then plus the n minus 1 over d. So an online auction works as shown below. Write a rule to represent the bids as an arithmetic sequence. So as we work through this problem, we want to look at what's the common difference. Well, this is an increase of 10. We increase by 10 again, and then we increase by 10. So basically what's happening is this online bidding system, each bid is increasing by $10 every time. So this is our, again, as we did in earlier problems, that's our common difference. So basically what we can say now is that D, which represents our common difference, is 10. We can fill that in. So I'm going to go ahead and put D right there. Now it's saying that we want to write this formula. So we're going to write A of N, which is any term, okay, any nth term. But we need to know what A of 1 is. Well, A of 1 is saying the first term, N repre or 1 representing the first. So therefore, the first term is 200. So that's the first bid. So we get 200 plus and then we still have n minus 1 right there. Now, if we want to clean this up, we can't simplify that. Right now, we're fine writing it like that. Uh, you could distribute the 10 through, make it 10n minus 10, and combine the 200. Okay? And again, this is fine for right now, just getting that sequence formula. And then we'll talk about how to really simplify that down. Okay, so they want to know what's the 12th bid. So what we're saying is, what is a of 12. So we talked about that in function notation. A of 12. So we're going to write 200 plus we replaced n with 12. So therefore we're going to replace over here 12 minus 1. And then that's times 10. Well, 12 minus 1 is 11. Multiply that by 10. Add that 200. So we get 200 plus 110, okay, which gives us that the uh, 12th bid as we go through A of 12, remember we don't do anything to this, is equal to 310, which means that if we keep bidding the way we are at the 12th bid, it's going to be $310, okay. So that's how we write an arithmetic sequence. It goes the first term, whatever it is, the first term which would, would be given in the situation, plus n minus 1 times the common difference, which we found the common difference by just saying what's the difference in between. Okay, so n will be in there. All right, and then we don't touch a, a of n. That's just, again, instructions. That's all that is. Okay, so that's it for today. We'll talk more in class tomorrow. Hopefully that, that gets it kind of clear, and we'll work on some problems.